All right, first make sure this is actually working. Oh, uh, let's see. Work, maybe, might be, could it be? Nope, so it says offline. Oh, there we go, now is it? <coughs> oh, come on, work. Stop saying off. There we go. Now it's on. Work. All right. Share. Share. And share. Do 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 do. All right. Let's do this. I guess. I know you're supposed to do pre-stream and all that, but. I don't do Twitch, I do YouTube. You don't do pre streams on YouTube. You just play. This one. In my shock at the loud alarm, I jumped out of the bed. Okay, more like I fell out of the bed. I have to mess with my phone a bit to get the alarm music to turn off. But then the bright light coming from the screen is blinding the sour. I don't even know what time it is. It looks like my clock is out. Pretty dark inside too, actually. Trying to burn the lamp. Trying to turn oh hey, trying to turn the lamp on does nothing either, so the power's out. Again. 4.47 AM, holy shit. Must be another one of those infamous power outages. <clears throat> Sit back down on the bed and consider taking a shower at the best time. I definitely can make out uh, the water in the background. Guess one beat me to it. Came back in the bed. I let my eyelids rest a bit and gather my thoughts about the coming day. It's certainly been something of an experience since I've arrived in Korea. Can't complain too much about the company as the girls are both cute and fun in their own way. But their devotion to the glorious Rita borders on creepy. Something is off about this country. Dangerously off. Dude, it's North Korea! Like, what rock did you live under to not know about North Korea? At least I made Ray on the d lab and got free Korean lessons. Well, as free as two years getting the shit chewed out of me and monetary bacon be. Just never thought I'd be in the country and on vacation at that. Either way, I need to stay focused and watch what I say. People here already give me death glares whenever I'm out. Because you're an American, a capitalist pig. Well, those off for a second there. I wonder what time it is now. Huh, it's quiet. I guess the shower's free now. Shut down to my silkies, grab a towel from my travel bag, and tiptoe over to the bathroom. If I'm gonna still asleep, I'd hate to wake them up. Especially if it's Unji. I can almost feel her fist in my gut just singing about it. Once I step inside the bathroom, I can smell the sweet scent of shampoo and feel the warm, humid air wash over me. I take, oh, I, oh, I thought that was a beat. I take a few seconds to feel around for a light switch. Click. No effect. Guess the power's still out. I drop my silkies and toss my towel over my shoulder. Hey, taking one more shot at it. I rock the light switch a few more times. Click. Click. Brown. The home of power courses through the old ring in the room as I'm blended with the whole room lighting up. Ah! I panic at the sound of someone shouting and flare my arms before my hands land on something. Soft? What? With a few moments I regain my vision. Oh shit. Hello darkness my old friend. I would say good morning but it seems you've already had one. <laughs> Down towards the silkies around my ankles and my hand on her chest. Oh, oh shit! I hang them back up around my waist. Shh, Unji is asleep. Let's just pretend this didn't happen. It was an accident, mistake. It'll only be a few more minutes, so you can use the shower when I'm done. Oh god, this is awkward. Sorry, I'll knock next time. It's okay, just let's keep this between you and me for now. Sure thing. Zhang doesn't bother explaining anything else as she skips out of the bathroom and over to Unji's bedroom. Or she's gonna back at me one more than once. I'm just glad I didn't get slugged there. But that comment just now? Listening off. I wish I knew what was going on. 
Well, nothing to be done about it now. I happen to shower and draw the curtain. By the way, I used all the la ah! hot water. <clears throat> Figured. Jean giggles and ducks back out of the room again. You could have warned me a bit earlier. Guess that's a fair bit of revenge. Working quickly, I grab a soap and wash up and head back to the bedroom to change. After pulling on my shirt, I notice my walkie-talkie with a keypad flashing. So I have a text message from Sean. Breakfast is ready, Romeo. Guess I'll text back. Thanks. I'll be right over. Ah, because it's the old style. We did it. One, two, dun, 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 dun. Yay, there's an S. <clears throat> Gotta hate hitting the number keys over and over and over and over again to get a letter. How did they ever survive texting in the 1990s? My fingers are already cramping. What I want to give for autocorrect. Bzzz. That response was fast. And you're going to teach Unji proper English? Yeah, let's just get to breakfast. I hear the girls giggling in the other room anyway. Fuck you, bitches. Let's see you two getting your ha-has in at my expense. But our Americans were proficient in cutting-edge technology. Can't even work texting functions on a, a modern cell phone. The phone you gave me, as well as the one you have, are not on the cutting edge. The dinosaurs from the 90s. Only old people use those models anymore. Guessing you never even got to see the phone that was confiscated for me, did you? I really know, but I'm certain it wasn't anything close to what you're using now. Oh, yeah, she's right about that. <clears throat> that reminds me, I have to charge my phone for today. I'll be right back. I was not used to the type of phones you gave me, so don't take that as an indication of my English skills. Unji was out her phone and tests on the keys like lightning. Bzzz. If you say so, Unji sticks a tongue out at me. Thanks for the support. Jung pokes her back in. I'm sorry, did I interrupt the lover's quarrel? Like I'd ever with... Hmm! <clears throat> oh, be a bit more cheerful, sister. Zhang smiles brightly. Well, aren't you a basket of sunshine today? Get good news? It hit me by surprise, one could say. For my eyes as she says this, but I catch her blush as she says this. Hmm. Let's just eat. I made eggs and toast. Boiled eggs and toast? That sounds pleasantly different. Well, I wanted to, uh... I'm gonna try a more traditional American breakfast. I don't think too much about it. It was just something I wanted to try. You've never had boiled eggs and toast before? Well, typically it's boiled rice and kimchi. When is it not rice and kimchi? Lunch is boiled noodles and kimchi. Somehow I think you're missing the point. What do you eat in your oh so glorious army? In, po in boot camp, it's like. like. I don't wanna talk about it. I'll take you at your word. Anyway, let's eat. Nom 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 nom. We sit down and Unji serves up boiled eggs and toast, as well as some rice and beans. Simple fare, but it's all been prepared rather well. Of course, I help clean up afterwards, and it seems the girls are used to that now, as they don't complain. Once then, they approach me with their map again. So what date route are we going to today? The way you say that makes me think this whole thing has been scripted. <laughs> Not at all. Now hurry up and decide so we can get her ready. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She grins as I salute her while saying this. Well, time to look at the map and click on a place to go. I mean, pick a place to go. Ah, <sighs> breaking the fourth wall. And unlike Doki Doki, it's not going to end with someone hanging from a... That's just probably going to end up worse. Probably going to get shot by a firing squad. Oh, we did... Yeah, we hung out with Unji yesterday, so let's... Go somewhere with Jean. Mansude. Just do that. I was supposed to trip to Korea. Wouldn't be complete without checking out Mansude. Yes, it's one of our most heavily visited tourist destinations. As such, only the top guys may take you. So I'll be spending a day with. Unji will be accompanying you on this trip. She is? I will. No, I'm just pulling your arm, comrade. I'll be your guide. Leg. The expression is pulling your leg. But don't scare me like that. You know I'm on probation from the escorting tourists at Monsunday. Probation? That sounds like an interesting story. And it's one you're not going to hear. Yeah, she might tell us though. Want a bet? Terrible. <laughs> Figured you wouldn't tell me. This is that the coax it out of Zhong instead, see? Good luck, she pinky swore to complete secrecy. You buy me lunch on our date today, I'll tell you. Deal. 
You, you capital swine, Benedict Garfield. <laughs> and here we see how you ended up failing Diplomacy 101 this semester. She's not doing too well in our American generals either. You stay out of this! I don't see what the big deal is, wouldn't you? You were completely justified in what you did. But they still made an example out of the whole situation. Punch me over punishing the tourists. That's hurt. Wow, sounds serious. What in the f in world happened? I'll tell you on the way there. Alright, alright. I was escorting a Russian tourist. He used his phone to take a picture of the statues of our most revered leaders. I didn't realize until the end of the tour when he showed me. I was bowing in respect in the photo. It doesn't sound too bad. Not only did he get a shot of my skirt tucked into my unmentionables, he also didn't get the entire He also didn't get the entirety of both statues in the shop. The nerve. I swept his phone and stumped on it, and they gave me probation. Now you don't have to buy Zhong Lan shell. Yeah. You really are such a child at times, Unji. Don't worry about it, I'm sure there are other Unji stories you can swap me for lunch. I hate you both! Just, just go on, Artie. Go on your date. Have fun. I'll be here with my pity celebration. No, <laughs> oh, don't be that way, Unji. When you get back, I'll help you with your English. If you're done with your pity party by then. My English is fine. I'm going to my room. Unji curls her arms in anger. She tries to storm out. I'm sorry, Unji. I'll miss you today. I see you every day, so I probably won't. <laughs> Thought you were the sweet one. What's with all the jabs today? Military secret, you understand next year. Part of your training involves teasing your sister? Teasing your friends in general. It's the best way to gain people's confidence, so you can manipulate them into giving up state secrets. Well, that and womanly charms. God, I'm walking into this, aren't I? But enough about that. But enough about work, let's get ready. I'm beginning to feel extremely uncomfortable. And you should change into some comfortable clothes. It's going to be fairly warm today. Meanwhile, you'll be dressed in full uniform, making me feel more and more out of place. Yes, that is the rule of our tour guides. Being full dressed whenever you're out on duty. I brought my Marine Corps moto t-shirt. Motto t-shirt, I could wear that. You could if you like the idea of running from the local authorities all day. I know, I know, low profile. I wonder what you'd look like in one of your our uniforms. Ooh. Effort for the men is a little plain, which would go perfect with your personality. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, I thought I had won you over with my sharp wit and winning smile. Don't let her fool you, she's totally smitten with you. Is that a fact? Wait, what? Hold on, it's not like at Zhong's, the one always writing about you in her diary. How sweet you are, how cute you are, how she wants to k kill me? Probably. In a flash, Zhong has Unji in a headlock and is dragging her back to the bedroom. Unji is wailing the whole way. A few short moments later, Zhang is back in the living room with her slightly too friendly smile. At this rate, we'll be here all day. Follow me, you can get changed into your outdoor clothes so that we can go. I know where the bedroom is, you don't have to leave me everywhere. What, unless you plan on changing me too? Attempting off her, but not while Unji is around, she might get angry. I don't see why, it doesn't seem like she's taking that great an interest in me. Most of the time she just insults me. I see the rumors about American men being clueless about women holds true. Anyway, get ready, the trolley bus will be here soon. She's me to go get ready yourself. Well, nothing else to do but get to rust. Not sure what's up with these two. It seems more and more like they're competing over me. I thought I was going to be touring with some military buds. Now I've got two girls fighting over who gets to go out with me. Well, it could be worse. It's not like what was the most in the band guy back home. <coughs> Goddamn boot lieutenants with all their bling. <laughs> I remember that one stupid second lieutenant we had in Hawaii. That dude was an idiot, and yet he kept getting word after word. We used to call him the Bling Fiora behind his back. Heh, <laughs> good times. Anyway, this vacation would be so much better if we weren't constantly being spied on by those two. So they're both pretty damn cute. I had to toss on a pair of jeans and a plain t-shirt, I grab my wallet and phone, and step out. As expected, Zhong is in full dress uniform, Unji is nowhere to be found. I guess Unji didn't want to see us off then? She's a little busy in her room, blowing off some steam. Anyway, the trolley bus will be here in a minute, so let's wait outside. Bottom, 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 bottom. Zhang doesn't even wait for my reply. She grabs my hand and leads me out the door. As she said, the trolley bus is just about to pull up to the door. I wonder how she managed to get the tram to give her service at her door. I bet I know. 
She pulls me up and leads me all the way to the back. No one else is on board yet. I apologize. The driver's out sick today, so we'll be on this tram today. May take a little longer than usual to arrive, though. That's okay, we can just relax and check out the view then. Looking at the trolley bus, I can see why it take longer. This clunker has been around since the 1970s, and from the look of it, the bus was made in some Soviet black country. I think the markings and some of the equipment making up the trolley bus are in check. Maybe Hungarian. Well, whatever country produced it, by all rights, it should be rusting a scrapyard back there. Instead, it appears to be part of the Korean mass transit system. As it moves, I can hear the single engine creak and grumble under the weight of 50 years of abuse. Seriously, I think I saw a guy on a bicycle pass us, and he was pretty chubby. You know, that's the first fat person I've seen in the entire country. Well, except for the big man himself. My thoughts are interrupted as I feel something lightly fall on my shoulder. It appears Zhang, back from fronting with Unji, has liberally made use of my shoulder as a pillow. Not that I mind. I could get used to this, Zhang asleep on my shoulder. Hey, get back. The looks I'm getting from some of the other people, though, have filtered onto the bus over the last hour are waiting me out, though. You know, that really is the worst part. Every person here looks terrified of me or like they want to kill me. Unji falls into the later category. And Zhang, well, I guess she doesn't fall into either. Oh, great. It sounds like the brakes are almost shot on this death trap, too. Add to that the list of things wrong with this country. What was the line? We live, we die, we die again? Yeah, that sums this up. The walls shake at the slightest bump. The seat belts are ripped out. Most of the windows are sealed sh Oh shit, that's not good. I'm pretty sure there's a spring from the seat making its way up my ass. We'd be safer and more comfortable in that car we've been taking everywhere. I will never bitch about the noise from our tanks ever again or being shot at, shot at while in one. At least it takes more than a gust of wind to take out our tanks. This death defying ride is making another tour of Afghanistan sound downright cozy. Rex must have started Zhang as she's lifting her head slightly. Are we? <sighs> are we there yet? No, we aren't there yet. No, we aren't dead yet, nor are we at a destination. Alright, though, through purgatory, we'll continue. She now puts her head back down. This man head laying on her shoulder. Thanks, that feels nice. I'd say it was worth it, except all the locals getting on the bus look really astonished. Seeing a foreign white dude with his arm around a sleeping member of the Korean military. However, they don't say anything, so I guess maybe it was worth it. After another herring tour hour, which felt more like 20 hours, we finally arrive at our... God damn, I can't talk today, can I? <coughs> we finally arrive at our destination and get off the bus. This is Pyeongchang District, home of the Mansure Art Studio. It is here where all of our vital works of arts are created. It is one of the largest centers of art production in the world. That sounds like the first fact I've heard since I got in this country. This place is huge and so many people are everywhere. With all the outdoor and indoor sections combined, this is easily the largest art studio I've ever seen. This is impressive, isn't it? So many wonderful pieces of art come from here. But let's not just stand here and talk about it. Let's show you around. She grabs my hand and leads me to a large outside monument. By the looks of it, I'm starting to question if I'm in Korea or the former Soviet Union. So yeah, hammer sickle, those are definitely old school communism symbols. But why the paintbrush? It's called calligraphy brush. It symbolizes the intellectuals in union with the workers and farmers. And the red buildings flanking the monument? They're meant to resemble flags. The word atop say ever victorious why the communist symbols while the country has moved on from traditional marxist communism to zhuzh it is still a strong foundation of how our country came to be founded also the circular foundation is 70 meters in diameter it symbolizes 70 years of the party and down with imperialism union when the monument was completed down with imperialism yes remember before the lineage of the glorious leader finally wrested control of our country, we had been annexed into the traitorous Western Japanese Empire. Then under Japan's crushing defeat at the United States' hands in the Second World War. So in essence, this part of the monument is in celebration of... Now... N Nippon? That may have been the worst pun I've ever heard. 
You've never met my drill sergeant. There are more monuments and other places to see. However, some of them may not leave you with a very good feeling. After all, the history between our countries is strained. South Korea and the United States were friendly with each other. South Korea, you... Dude, how have you never heard of North Korea? Seriously, how have you never heard of North Korea, dude? What the fuck is wrong with you? No, true Korea, no. You're on good terms with the occupied part of the country. Up here, not so much. Some of the art may disturb you. I think with his children, oh yeah, because he's, you know, been to Iraq and Afghanistan and all that. I can handle some anti-American artwork. First, that's horrible. Who would use an innocent child as a disposable weapon? Your glorious leader. We're better to train them with rifles and have them kill waves of foreign invaders, like in the Great War. Second, don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I'm glad to see that there are still people shocked by kids being used as makeshift bombs. Wait, that's not much better. Kids don't make good riflemen anyway, the guns are too heavy. Better to have them operate crew served weapons, they can carry it as a group, which helps build essential teamwork skills. That, that's an actual point. I had to pass that idea on up. God damn, that was a joke! You know what? It's not worth arguing. Let's just go inside. We were just in here, weren't we? Zhang nods and leads me by the hand to the main section of the art studio. Our nerves, different kinds of artwork, paintings, drawings, embroideries, even wood cuttings. I thought they aren't that bad. I'm surprised by the quality. These are mostly of nature and never present workers' party. I notice a painter in one area working on something completely outside of those boundaries. Before I can head over, Zhang tugs on my sleeve. I have to use the facilities. Could you wait for me here? Facilities, are you going to paint something? No, you idiot! Oh, you need to hit the head? Got it. Sure thing, I'll be here. Hit the head? You haven't done anything to warrant that punishment yet. Sorry, military jargon for go to the bathroom. Interesting, I may have to teach that one to Unji. She might scare some s more soldiers with that expression. Anyways, I'll try not to take too long. Take your time, I'm not going anywhere. As off, I walk over to the painter I had spotted a few minutes ago. He's painting a picture that can only be described as war crimes being committed. Of two American soldiers torturing and killing Koreans. At the center is Marine Corps General James Mad Dog Mattis. Using baseball... Wait, what? That sounds, uh, what was that from? Inglorious Bastards. There's some historical issues beyond the content itself, but either way. I try to stay quiet, but I accidentally sneeze, drawing the attention of the artist. Face goes ghost while he turns around and sees me. In the case of, oh shit, an American is here to kill me syndrome. Maybe I'd best just stay quiet, smile, and keep my arms to the side so it's not to him anymore. There's you, dude. I come in peace. Security, security, help! It appears he went for a shoot to kill as security guards come rushing towards us. Wait, how do you know I'm American and not British or Icelandic or something? Damn, I have no choice but to just stand here as the two armed guards rush up to me. Hands up, American pig dog. No sudden movements either. I raise my hands behind my head and walk towards the guards as instructed. First guard continues to hold his rifle at me while motioning to the other guard to frisk me. I tend to make a joke about having a feel on the first date, but I seriously don't think those make for a very good last words. Guard quickly pats me down and relieves me of the meager possessions from my pocket, then heads back to the first guard. Not much on him, sir, just a wall and mostly American money. A ton of breathments and a really crappy flip phone even my mother would be embarrassed to use. In other words, a damn tortoise. This is the first time he's freaked out over a tourist this morning. When she won, we told you to stop freaking out over every American who comes near you. Yeah, just Han Ji Wan turns back to his easel sheepishly without another word to me. Fortunately, the guards have more to say. I just wish they'd lower their weapons while doing so. Okay, Yankee Doodle, where's your tour guide? You know the rules, no wandering off from the guides. I'm oh, sorry, my tour guide needed to go use the bathroom. Had to hit the head, did he? So you guys use that phrase too? Oh, my guide is a she. No way they assign a female guard to an American. No joking. You've got a loaded wo loaded weapon aimed in my head. I'm all for jokes, but I usually prefer them to not end in my death as the punchline. I'm telling you the truth, my tour guide is a female. Her name is Jean. I'll tell you what, we'll just wait here for this Jean to show up. Guess not the times where Jean finally arrives on the scene. It's like she didn't even notice the heavily armed men casually hanging out with me. I mean, she walks right up to me and grabs my hand like she's been doing the whole trip. All freshen up, ready to go now? You may want to check with Hans and Franz over there so they don't pump me up with lead as we walk away. Grand finally knows the two guards who appear to be in a bit of shock that I was telling the truth. But that Zhang is pretty damn cute. Maybe a little both. Whatever. 
I apologize, gentlemen. I had to hit them on the head as it would be improper to bring my guest with me. I had to have him wait here. He didn't cause any trouble, did he? Not really. He freaked out Han Juan. That's something new or worth filing the paperwork over. Use the stuff back and seriously. You need to upgrade your phone. You're telling me. <laughs> the two guards leave us and head back to their post, leaving me with Zhang and a lack of a loaded gun pointed at me. Sorry about that. Some of the artists here are a little more paranoid than others. But yeah, if I was painting something to pick down Korean and brutally killing Americans, and you walked up behind me, I'd probably forget to. Oh yeah, that piece will eventually be moved to a different museum. Let's go look at the other pieces instead. <laughs> Sorry. We head around the spacious art complex, gazing at various pieces, mostly in silence. Not exactly a comfortable silence after what just happened, but it's not unpleasant either. Eventually, the lull in conversation broken by Zhang's soft voice. I'm... I'm sorry you had to see that painting. It's not a big deal, Zhang. Everyone has their version of history. I suppose, however, it must be hard learning that your country has committed unspeakable crimes against innocence. I can deny that we haven't been perfect, but I'm pretty sure the mad dog never bashed anyone's head with a baseball bat. Well, at least not in Korea. I feel an attack confused. I'm supposed to hate you. I've been told Americans are nothing but murderers and looters. Yet you seem... different. Governments have a lot of power to sway the minds of the people into believing something. It's not until you meet actual individuals that you realize we're all pretty much the same if, in the end, even in the British. That doesn't... That does make some sense, I mean. I've given tours to different Americans the past couple of years. None of them seem to type to slaughter anyone. They all had their quirks, but overall they seem nice enough. Don't worry about it too much. We're all just people in the end. It's getting kind of late in the afternoon. Ready to get lunch? Yay! I would like that. Without everyone getting killed, please. Since the trolley bus won't be back for a while, we end up eating at the complex's cafeteria. This might be the most meager meal I've had since coming here, and the worst kimchi. Zhang and I sit in the corner away from the others, lest another guy panics at my lack of Koreanness. There's more to art to there's more art to see, and we should probably end the tour with the grand monuments outside before smacking the trolley bus. It's hit the bus, but anyway. Isn't that where Unji had her international incident? Yes, at the statues of our blood leaders, who transcended to watch over us from the stars. That's a radical, beautiful way of describing a death to someone. Death? Gods do not die! They transcend when it's time and lead their progeny in charge. You... You think the former leaders are gods? Not at all. They're not former leaders. They're just... They just guide us on a transcended statue. And a transcended state. Blah! I don't have my glasses on. I have these because my whole stupid stick of not showing my face. Right. So how about this kimchi? Unji is way better, am I right? Zhang appears lost in reverent thought about the dead leaders. Maybe that's for the best. Felt the silence is untreated as a bull clings to the ground. Looking over, I see a middle-aged lady who has unfortunately dropped her kimchi. Poor woman appears to be on the verge of tears. She uses her own shirt to mop up the mess. Can they just get a mop or something? No, the rule for wasting food is one must clean it up with their own cloth. Will they at least give her another bowl of food? Seriously, I can see her wrist through the shirt. No, each person is only allowed one bowl. She will have to wait until she goes home to eat. Hey, this seems fair. Even the drill instructors weren't that cruel in boot camp. It seems sad, but she was given according to her needs. To give her more would be deny someone else's needs. I probably have a really dumb final look on my face. It just seems unfathomable. Not like the bulls and kinchi were that big anyways. They're going to let her starve? Can you wait for just one second? I have to do something. Need to split the head? That's... Hit the head, and now I just need to do something that'll only take a minute. Hey, but please don't leave the mess hall. I won't. Pick my own bowl of kimchi, on which I've only eaten a spoonful. Some reservation, considering how many people are staring at me already. I slip over to the woman who has spilled her food. She's sitting alone and crying softly and waiting for the end of her scheduled break. She doesn't hear me approach, but I'm pretty sure I feel the other eyes on me. When I finally get to her, I place my bowl in front of her. I try my best to speak formal Korean. You look hungry. Here, please have this kimchi. She looks up at me with a confused expression, then looks down to see the bowl in front of her. She doesn't move to get it. It's okay. I'm not hungry, so you enjoy it. She still seems confused, but she slowly moves her hand to the bowl. And I had to assure her that it's okay to eat it. When she finally has it in her hands and realizes I'm not going to steal it, knock it over, or slap her, she actually mumbles to me. Thank you. I then head back to sit down with Zhang again, and she has a baffled look on her face. Why did you do that? Now you'll have no lunch and won't be able to eat until we get home. 
You're absolutely right. Do you want to walk around the rest of the day on an empty stomach? You couldn't be more right if you tried. I'm telling you that you'll be hungry until we get home. Doesn't that bother you? Yet again, you are correct. Are you even listening? You're just agreeing with me even when I'm asking a question. Dad always told me to avoid an argument with a woman. Just keep telling her she's right. Seem to work for him. <laughs> well, I can't say he's wrong, but now's not the time. I'll be fine. I need to lose some weight anyway. Liar, I can see your abs on the cameras when you change. Hey! You have cameras? That's not the point. I'm going to ignore that for now. Either way, she needs the food more than me. This place is taking starving artists to a dangerous new level. I guess I don't quite understand, but it seems like you did a very nice thing. I'd share my kimchi with you, but I ate it already. It's fine. Let's go see those statues. Shnod stands up and again takes me by the hand to head back into the main art exhibit areas. Because you're not shy about holding hands, not that I'm complaining. But I will complain about the odd looks I keep getting from the workers. I got the feeling they see me holding hands with Zhang and they're somewhere between angry and confused. As we go back through the artist's work area, I see my old friend, the guy who freaked out when I watched him paint. Now the American soldier in the painting? Oh, what the hell? I just painted my face on him. I'll get him that little sh- You feeling okay, Umi? Oh yeah, I'm fine. What do you ask? You spaced out there for a bit. Sorry, I just got lost in my thought. We have a little more time before the trolley bus comes here to take us home. Should we go to the statues now? Sure thing. Do me a favor and don't go full Unji on me and bow while I'm trying to take a picture. Silly boy, only Unji does that. Always in a rush and she never checks. It was bound to happen someday. Too bad she destroyed the evidence. Yeah, that would have made an awesome CG shot. Ha 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 ha. A what now? Nothing. Let's go. Zhang leads me back outside and we travel the path to Monsude Hill. Home of many large monuments to Korea and the Workers' Party. Zhang takes us to the large statues of the first two leaders of Korea. She bows on them and then turns to talk to me. These are the statues of the two great leaders, the original leader and his son who followed him after his transcendence. They stand at 22 meters tall and are made of bronze. The original leader on the left was erected first while he was still leading us on the ground. He was covered in gold leaf in the original statue but was later altered to bronze. Yeah, those are some really tall statues. She had a picture to show everyone back home. But my hopes so I did a flip phone and try to work the camera as best I can. As soon as I take a shot, Zhong is peering over my shoulder at the result. No, I'm sorry, that won't do it. You'll need to delete that and take it again. What? Why? It's a pretty good shot for the shoddy phone. And you're not even in the photo, so it's, there are no words over my functions. I don't think you understood why Unji was so angry in her story. I'm sure she was embarrassed a little that her unmentional was on film. She was more upset that the Russian tourists hadn't gone all of both statues and one in the shot. But, so because I don't have their legs all in the shot, I have to retake it? Yes! I cannot look the other way on this. Please delete and try again. Fine, here goes nothing. I try to frame both on the tiny screen. No good, I had to keep moving back. But the further back I go, the smaller the picture. About five bad takes, I finally got a shot that fits in the frame. Very good, this photo is acceptable. Sure, too bad I can't tell that they're statues anymore. It's almost time for the trolley bus to get here. Let's head over to the stop. Sounds good to me. She takes me by the hand and leads me back. Once at a stop, it's only a short five minute wait for the trolley bus. Same one from this morning, much to my chagrin. It appears our seat from this morning is already taken, thankfully. I can get a seat that doesn't offer a free spring colonoscopy this time. We sit down and the trolley of death begins heading home. Hope you had a good time today. Monsude isn't always an easy tour for Americans. It was okay. All of that was nice, and I appreciate those two guards not having itchy, tricky fingers. I like I can get you in contact with the Italian company that Mansude works through to sell the art pieces. I couldn't have just paid one of the artists there? No, their work, unless the profits belong to the state. That explains so much. Zhang nods at this, and again, within 10 minutes, she's asleep on my shoulder. I'm too worried to sleep, and I sit there trying to figure out the best possible escape route. In case we hit a pothole and the trolley bus flips over. I may have learned more than I ever wanted to about Korea through art today. It makes me a bit uncomfortable. What have I got myself into? Because you went to the wrong Korea! Once we get to our stop... Ooh, he's misspelled. Oh well. I gently nudge Zhang to wake. Thanks for today, Zhang. I really like touring with you. 
I enjoyed it as well. Shall we go inside and tell Unji all about it? I guess we have no choice. Let's go in. Third night here, second after being out all day, with one of my chaperones, their hostesses, girlfriends, maybe. They sure seem in town and keeping me to themselves. Are they hoping to keep me here in Korea, or are they hoping I'll sneak them out? Now this seems very likely. Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Perhaps grabbing hands, calling outings, dates, calling someone for a custom here. Yeah, I'm not overthinking things. Speaking of thoughts, I think mine are about to be interrupted. Hey! Is the living room floor more comfortable than my bed? What a question, but I assume you meant it as a innocent one. Well, maybe not. Anyways, I came to see if you were busy this evening. Things the Pyongyang nightlife involves explaining to soldiers what I'm doing out on the street at night without getting killed or arrested, I'd say my agenda is pretty clear. It's not always like this. I'm sure at some point we can go somewhere in the evening. I hope so. Anyway, did you have something in mind for this evening? Yes. I was hoping you would help Unji with her English tonight. She only needs as much help as possible, and for some reason she doesn't do well learning under my guidance. I think maybe having a cutie American man might help her. Not sure what being cute has to do with it, but I'm glad to hear I'm not the ugly American. Hmm. Well, Unji has taken a liking to you. She's just never been good with her feelings. Calling me Fifty Shades and not surprised. When she was 13, a boy who had a crush on Unji actually got the nerve to confess to her. She actually liked him as well. So they dated? Well, no. She didn't know how to handle the confession and she ended up shooting him with a pellet gun. Pellet gun? Why the hell did she have one on her in the first place? I mean, do kids who just carry those to class? We for us and it's a carry 9 millimeter compacts. Oh, that's terrible. Rest of her at the small arms practice range. You sure he was in love and not depressed? Seems like a suicide attempt was made there. Don't be mean. My sister has her faults. But she can be sweet and is certainly not the raft of womanly charms. I suppose that's true. She's cute in her own way. Anyway, I would like for you to help her with her English after dinner. I'll have everything you need ready. Fair enough. I did promise to help her after all. Anyways, maybe I'll finally get some respect as her teacher. You probably shouldn't have put all your hopes in one basket for that idea. I'm not sure how, but you mixed up two old sayings and actually made a pretty decent new one after that. Beginner's luck? Probably. Still, that was kind of cute. Easy there, you're supposed to be flirting with Unji tonight. I thought I was teaching her, not flirting with her. There's a difference? Ah. Uh, maybe one day you will understand. Don't put all your hopes in one basket. So mean. I'll have Unji waiting and ready after dinner for your tutoring. Kinky. She walks out of the room, she's sharing with Unji, but I'm pretty sure I saw her turn her back and wink at me. Teaching Unji English. This should be interesting. Of course, giving a loaded gun to a gorilla could be interesting too, and at least he'd have a fighting chance that time. Better take a quick nap for marching to this battle. Thanks for the meal, Unji. Again, you've outdone yourself. Best meal I've had in Korea yet. Well, of course. I have been trained in the culinary arts, so it's the least I can do. Think nothing of it. Look at you, getting all bashful to the American's praise. Unji's cheeks glow red, and it's pretty cute. I may have to praise her more if that's the reaction it gets. I am not! He just took me by surprise with his compliments, that's all. You are such a terrible liar. Can I ask you a favor, James? She winks, obviously. Of course, you've been such gracious hostesses. What can I do? Can you clean up the table and wash the dishes tonight while I prepare Unji for your event this evening? I'd hardly call what we're doing an event, but sure, I'll be glad to clean up. Oh, what's going on? What do you think you're preparing me for? We're going to spend some one-on-one -on -one time alone in your bedroom with our guest. Wah! I'm not ready for that sort of thing. That's way too... Sun you're setting it up, Jean? Here's the part of the misunderstanding where you say, But if it's sex with James, I wouldn't mind. Right, if it's sex with James... Uh, hey! Stop tricking me! Now is about the perfect time for you to fill another Sunday trope. Who's, ru <laughs> Who's running this operation here? I think Zhang is. Anyway, dirty as your minds might be, that's not even close to what we're doing. You're thinking of something perverted right now, aren't you? I'm under a self on both sides now. Admit it, pervert! If I don't admit, you must acquit. Okay, no way am I spending any time alone in my bedroom with this creep. 
It'll be fine, Unji. I think you've had more martial arts training than him anyway. How do you know? I didn't have a part-time job as a dojo floor sweeper. Where the Sifu Datami has his only child and Tommy the Way is a Taekwon Leap? Because live in America. Homes of slackers who bum on the beach when not sleeping. Everyone knows Americans are fat, lazy bums. Fortunately, I am not. Anyway, I'm going to help you learn English tonight. Him teach me English, but no buts about it. I'll meet you in your room in five minutes. Sister, you must learn English to advance in the People's Army, and our guest is going to help you. I'd rather have the sex. At least it'll be over in two minutes. English takes forever. <laughs> I think it lasts a little longer than two minutes. Both of you hush, and go to Unji's room, and leave the door open. I swear if I hear you complaining, Unji, you're doing strict English lessons. If you had told me that was on the table, I'd have offered my services earlier. Ah! Let's just get this over with! With that, she forcefully grabs my hand and drags me back to her bedroom. Just to finally slams the door shut and locks it behind her. Honestly, my sister can be such an instigator. Just to make sure we are practicing English and not having sex, right? Yes, we are just studying English. Here's the book we work from. She hands me a bright yellow paperback book on the front. The title reads, How to Sound Like a Dumb American. So it must be a third grade English book, because that's the official language of America. Well, that's a good sign. Let's check the copyright date. 1987. Great, it's only three decades out of date, so I guess that's progress. I sit next to her on the bed and flip open to the bookmark page. How about reading the sentence for a start? Hello, everybody! God, I don't wanna- man, I don't wanna do that! We should go to the... Dis- Oh, to the disco? To dance... Together. That image is almost exactly what is Unji's pronunciation. I'm not understanding where to begin. I'd like to blame it on the book, but your pronunciation is atrocious. English is so hard. Why do I need to learn it anyway? I'm not sure. Zhang said you need it to advance in your military. I don't want to advance to that position. What position is that? That information is classified. I'm not able to share it with you. Great. Well, don't worry about my paranoia and concentrate on making an S sound that sounds like a snake. S instead of shh. Evil bastard Ronald Reagan destroyed Wimpy Walter Mondale in the election. Uh oh. Look closer at that last word. It's not an R, but an L. You mean an erection? I, I, no, but yes, the word is election, not erection. The two are completely different things. What are they then? An election is when the population of a place votes for the political leaders. Oh, we do that? A DPRK holds elections? Of course, we elect our representatives to the Supreme People's Assembly. Honestly, did not expect that. How does that even work here? Well, the Supreme People's Assembly has 687 seats and everyone over 17 can vote. That's pretty impressive. Who runs in the elections? Every person who wants to run has to apply to the Democratic Front for the reunification of the Fatherland. They can prove or deny the application to be on the ballots. The people get to go to an election to vote. For the one candidate the Democratic Front has selected to run for office that year. If you don't want to vote for them, you can go to a special booth with windows where you can cross out their name. Somehow that's about how I expect it to work. What party is in power now? The Workers' Party has 607 seats and they're in alliance with the Social Democrats who hold 50 seats. So the 687 seats, 657 held by one party essentially. Well, at least you probably don't have so many political ads on TV. Anyway, you never asked my question. What is an erection? Err, why don't you ask your sister or something? You said you would teach me English. Tell me. You erect a statue. The erection of a statue. There, see, now I don't have to do anything embarrassing, but this is a Japanese game, so... Well, it's actually made by Americans, but still, it's a play on Japanese games. Tell me now! It's like, it's like... Something people have sometimes, you err... Can't get one. Why not? Nipples can get erect. Terrible. It just doesn't work that way. Let's just focus on speaking in English for now. No! I want... <laughs> Two? Are you being a bad influence, James? No, you can't have one. Wait, Zhang, what are you spying on us? Absolutely. You two are right. If you have enough time to listen in on us, you have enough time to help me train her in English. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Considering Unji needs all the help she can get, yes I would. No, really, it's okay, let's just 
Stop and go to bed. Nope, not going there. Read the next sentence. There is only one true career. We must crush the... I don't know. Ocu... I'm gonna guess occupied? I don't think any American would say such a thing. Our leader is... The coolest than... The James? I was way cooler than the James. Worse and worse, I'm not even sure how to begin correcting you. That's what our last teacher said. He didn't last long. I think you really need a speech therapist as well as intensive training in remedial English before tackling this book of absurdities. Remedial? This book is the remedial English book for Korea. The normal English book is much harder. Maybe instead of a book left with complete senses, you should have started with phonics or something more basic. You don't happen to have any of those learning letter leaders around, would you? I do not know what those are. They're these cute people made out of letters and they usually have things that start with their letter. Like Mr. A would have an apple and an alligator. Or Miss J would have juice and jam. I think we have something like this. They would call flashing cards. Let me look at my closet. Unji goes in her closet, kneels down, and starts rummaging through. Tressa starts tossing things out behind her to the room, which is when I find out it's a huge mess. She has things scattered all over the place. Various plants and charts are covered by food wrappers. Her pellet guns are haphazardly thrown about the room as well. And her clothes, her uniform is on a chair, socks hanging all over the place. I think there's a pair of her panties hanging from the lampshade. I know Zhang and pointed in that direction. Pretty certain that's a fire hazard over there. Sweet Unju, you're such a slob. I just cleaned this room. Oh, it's like an American <laughs> rocket hit it. And you get your dirty underwear hanging from a lamp. And like a scared cat, Unji yelps and beelines it for the lamp, snatching her underwear. Zhang, why are you pointing out my my, my, my intermercials to him? Actually, he pointed them out to me. How could you? How could I what? How could you just casually point out my... my um, hey, your panties? It just rolls off your tongue, doesn't it? Aren't you embarrassed to say that word? But I see a pair of them out in the open. Have you no shame? This is about everyone wears underwear. We're panties. I think the British call them pants, which causes confusion with us Americans. But it's a dirty word. No, it isn't. Sure, some people feel uncomfortable saying it, but it's not a curse word or anything. Told you so, sister. I don't believe you both. Neither do you have any shame at all. Because of our ability to say the word panties? Okay, stop that. Stop what? Saying panties? Yes, cut that out! Or what? Panties, 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 pink panties, purple panties. It's right across your butt, panties. We all love panties. And Zhang says I'm a child. Actually, children love saying words they think are dirty even if they aren't. Make sure I try it out. Never! And there's nothing you can do to make me! Tell you what, if you can say panties in English clean lay just once, we'll set the lessons for the night. I don't think so. Where's the book? It's gone. While you were arguing, a snipe came in and took it. Snipe hunt! Oh no, I am not falling for that again. Zhang hit it somewhere. Yes, yeah, so you can have it back if you say panties in English cleanly. You're supposed to be the sweet one! Only to James. I still get to be your teasing older sister to you. This is so not fair. A wise man once said it, life is not fair. There are no wise men, but indulge me, who said it? Some wise guy, who knows? Point is, life is not fair, and you want to... If you want the lesson to end, and get your book back, you just have to say panties in English once, cleanly. Pantish. Sorry, I couldn't make that up. What was that? Pantish. <clears throat> You'll need to be louder than that. Panties, 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 panties. Can I go now? Nope, sorry, you haven't said it yet. I just said it six times, but not clearly. Your S at the end comes out as shh. I'm afraid he's right, sister. You'll need to try harder. I hate you both so much right now. No, you don't. No, come on, you can do it. Unji takes a deep breath and then slowly speaks. Panties. You made E.T. proud, but you did it. Who is this E.T. and why would he be proud? Space Alien, long necks, big eyes, likes to eat peanut butter candies, terrible English. Sounds like you, Unji. Shut up and give me my book back. Look under the power clothes over there, you buried it looking for the flashcards. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Did you find them? Yes, but the lesson is over, so we don't need them. Can I see them anyway? 
Close them out of her pocket, throw them at my forehead, and actually catch the box of cards. I get stuff out before I do. I'm sleeping with one eye open tonight. Be nice, sister. But anyways, let's look at these flashcards. I pull out the cards. They're cheaply made and fairly worn, but the purchases are accessible. Looks like they were put back in the box in that public water. Mr. A is flying on an airplane. Mr. B is holding a bomb. Miss C has chemical weapons. Mr. D has a dagger. These cards are fairly violent. Flamethrower, grenade, judo, machete, shotgun. Most of these cards have the letter person holding a weapon or fighting. What kind of deck of cards is this? Probably crazy, but I don't think the International Parenthood Association approved the printing of these. Is, is that the United States after nuking on the UU card? Oopsie, forgot about that one. No wonder we were told not to show these to outsiders. Yes, it's been so long I've forgotten as well. You guys really like to indoctrinate your kids to hate us really young, don't you? It's honestly not like that. Not anymore, really. The printing company mysteriously went out of business years after issuing these. No one has stepped in to print new ones, so we just use what we have. Oh, okay. And not comfortably. It takes a good 10 minutes before I break it. I was like, dude, you can't fault them for the, what they've grown up in. That's literally brainwashing since birth. I'm gonna go hit the sack. It is pretty late. I shall hit my sack as well. Let's... We're gonna idiom sometimes. Think of where you want to go tomorrow. See you in the morning. Sleep well. I hear them bickering softly as I leave, but I'm too exhausted to strain myself to listen. Then it was really, really weird. Scary weird. The girls seem nice, but from the past few days, I get the sense that I'm not really welcome in this country. Well, you're not. I only need to stay on my bone, on my toes, and get through the trip and just get home. And... Is it morning yet? I... Yep. Morning! And with that, I shall call this a D. As I do with these kind of games, it's like, oh, new day, stop the stream. Hell, is anyone even watching this? I mean, I don't, I don't guess, I don't get Twitch at all. I don't get why people do Twitch over YouTube. On YouTube, if I do this, I get like, no, 20, 30 people watching, and then on Twitch, I get nothing. Anyways, I'll stop my bitching now.